I spoke in eager tones as the method of my words escaped me in the night. I walked close-mindedly down paths of summers now forgotten. As the whispers of my youth made their way like tiny trees inside my guts until they bristled out and then exploded into autumn. All I saw was plain before me, my eyes absorbing everything in the quiet, soft embraces of the wind. I listened as the leaves fell gracefully to the ground. I scuffled through them in a hurry to be somewhere as I was getting there. I whispered to myself, perhaps, to anyone who is listening. Quiet words. Silent soliloquies. <clears throat> In the breeze. I could be anything. I'd known that for years. But there was something deeper that I did not yet understand. I felt somehow as though irrational What's that? camera. We'll put a camera here. Did you put a camera here? Is it recording? I don't know. Well, what should we do about it? I suppose we should continue. It was the winter. And my heart was beating dry. There was no blood to hold to you. To. Eclipse my nightborn eye. I held you in a breath, a whisper, perhaps in just a moment as it came from one onto the next, onto the next dawn. We slept in circles as though. If we're still summer and we held on to the breeze within our lungs for just a while. Ah, summer, sweet embrace, ever winter here, ever winter. The spring will come again, and with it all its roots and viney things will find leaves of green, beautiful shapes and colors growing everywhere. We'll be amazed. We will 
still hold on to each other's words as though they are the last words to be said, and we will say unto our friends, with the same regard, such words of great importance, that the world will stop and listen, hearing, believing, share our hearts in somber, soft soliloquies to anyone who hears. We will not break our wills for you or anyone. We are strong in every way imaginable. Stand with us, friends. Embrace all love. Hold on to that which is important. Share everything. The world is ours. Share who you are with the world. You will find you are part of it. You will want to clench it in your fist and squeeze out every drop into your hand. You will want to take this world and tie it up in knots inside your heart and shut the door. You will refrain starting it to beat. No. That as soon as it starts thumping, it will break from that cage. And it will bring you freedom. And all others, too. Hope. So many things. Why suffer so from greed, through suffering there of greed? Why suffer so at all? Allow the world to shift and bring you with it the Renaissance. Whatever you would like to call it, friends, is now. It has begun. jar and drink from it. Remember it. You'll always find it in your heart if you do. There's more to say on all of that, but we can't go on just now. 